Broxson, Senior Editor at Real Simple, and today I'm going to be showing you new uses for rubber bands. I bet you have a couple of them around the house, and what you might not know is that you can put them to use to make your life a little bit easier. So let's get started. Okay, so our first hack for our rubber band here is actually going to be using it to open a stubborn jar. Sometimes you get those newer jars and the first time that you open them you need a lot of elbow grease. Well what you can do is take a rubber band and just place it right around the lid of the jar. And the rubber band is just going to help provide a little added grip to the lid to make it easier to open. So I've just placed it right around the lid just like this and I'm just gonna give it a twist. Opens right up. Okay, so my next hack is actually for your soap dispenser. Uh, we're all washing our hands more these days. Soap is like liquid gold. We're really trying to not waste it and conserve it a little, but sometimes soap dispensers simply put out too much soap, or maybe you're in a household full of kids and they are just constantly like pushing that dispenser and getting too much soap out, you can actually use just a simple rubber band to help with that problem. And all you're gonna do is just fit the rubber band on that part of the dispenser, this kind of middle part that acts as the spring to dispense the soap. You're just gonna place the rubber band right there and it's gonna create a little bit of a barrier so that when you push down the soap dispenser, it's gonna let out less soap. Now it's still gonna let out enough soap, but it's just not gonna let out like that stream of soap that's wasteful. So try this one and let me know what you think. Okay, so this next one is one of my favorites because it solves a problem that I've been in many times. And that is that I lost the back to an earring. Uh, what you can do is use just a little piece of rubber band as a temporary earring back. You're just gonna cut a little piece from the rubber band and place it right on the back of the earring and you're good to go. It's gonna stay all day, keep it securely in place until you can get another earring back to replace it. Okay, so this next hack is gonna help you when you are making that grocery list. Usually you take a few minutes to look around the pantry, see if there's something you need, but some of us have those canisters to hold sugar or salt or flour and they're opaque so you can't easily see what's inside without taking them down and taking a look. So what you can do is use a rubber band to keep a mark of the level of what's inside. And so you're just gonna place a rubber band on there. I'm gonna look inside to see what level my flaky salt is at. So it's about at this level. And every time I use some of that salt, I'm just gonna move the rubber band down so that I can see when I get to the bottom just with a quick glance that I might need to stock up on some more salt. So I've been cooking a lot more during this time and a problem that I've run into with my cutting board when I'm chopping and dicing is that it moves a little bit on the countertop. Uh, wooden ones especially seem to be a little bit more slippery on top of the countertop. And what you can do is actually use just a rubber band on the ends of your cutting board. So just like this, you put one on the other side too. And it's just gonna give a little bit added grip on your countertop when you're using the cutting board and just make it a little bit safer. Hi, I'm Brandi Broxson, Senior Editor at Real Simple. And today I'm gonna to be showing you ways that you can repurpose those cardboard paper towel tubes and toilet paper tubes. I bet you have a lot of them around the house right now. So let's get started. Okay, so there's a super easy hack for a toilet paper tube or you can cut a paper towel tube in half and you can actually use it to store your hair ties. I feel like I'm always losing these or they're kind of getting tangled in a bag together. So with the tube, you can just plop them right on and it kind of gives them a place to live and a, a home base. Okay, so maybe you have an important document that you need to store like a birth certificate or something that's really special to you like a piece of child's artwork, and you wanna store it in a way that doesn't crease it, what you can do is use a paper towel tube to store it. And all you're gonna do is just roll up the document like I did here and place it inside. 
and it's going to expand to the tube's size. It's going to keep it from creasing. It's just going to keep it a little bit drier and a little bit neater. And you can just label the outside of the tube like I did here with what's inside. And then store it where you store your important documents. Maybe that's a cedar chest or a plastic container and it's gonna be ready to go when you need it. Okay, so my next hack is actually for your kitchen knife. Maybe you're moving and you need a safe way to pack this or maybe you're going on a camping trip and you wanna take your knife but you don't have something to put it in. What you can do is actually use a paper towel tube to make a DIY knife sheath. And how you're gonna do that first is you're gonna trim away some of the tube. So you want the tube to be a couple inches longer than the blade. So I already took off a piece of the tube. And then from there, you're gonna put the knife inside of the tube, the blade facing away from you. Just be really careful. And then you're going to press the tube down, fold over the long side, and then fold over the top side. So now the cardboard is in the shape of the blade and it's super secure. And from there, you're just gonna use a bit of tape to keep this folded down. So I'm just using a washi tape here, but you can use any kind of tape you have that'll just keep it secure. So now you have this great way that your knife is stored. It's safe and ready to go when you need it. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do with our toilet paper tubes is turn them into stamps. So you can see that I already made this one into a heart shape. And how you get that is just by pinching the top part of the tube together like this. And then you're just gonna pinch the bottom part a little bit too. Uh, something else that you can do is cut out pieces of the tube for kind of a funkier shape or a really easy one is just to leave it in a circle or press it to make this diamond oval shape. And from there, you're just going to dip it in any kind of paint and you can put it on white paper or maybe you want to make some funky gift wrap. You could do this on craft paper just like that. It's a fun way to pass an afternoon and reuse some tubes. Okay, so cords can be a difficult thing to organize and keep contained, especially if you have a bunch of them and you're not sure exactly what they go to just by looking at them. What you can do is use a toilet paper tube to keep them organized and contained. So I just put a, a cord inside, wrapped it up a few times, and then I'm just gonna label it with some washi tape what is inside. So this is my HDMI cord. This is my tablet cord. They're ready to go. Okay, so with this next hack, we're gonna turn a toilet paper tube into a really easy bird feeder. All you need is a little bit of peanut butter and whatever seeds or nuts that you have on hand. I'm using some sunflower seeds. Take a look online, see what your local birds like, what they don't like, what they can eat, and go from there. Uh, but all you're gonna do is just spread some peanut butter right onto the roll, like this. I like to work in sections rather than doing the whole roll at one time. And then you're just gonna roll it in some of the seeds, just like that. After you've done the whole roll, you wanna let it dry for about 30 minutes to an hour. And then you can go outside and place it right on a tree branch and your birds will have a very nice treat. Hi, I'm Brandy, senior editor at Real Simple Magazine and I'm coming to you from my apartment in Brooklyn, New York. Welcome. So if you're anything like me, you're probably thinking of ways, especially right now, that you can reuse things, really stretch the life of things, give things a new life even. This is something that I've been thinking about a lot lately and is actually my job at Real Simple to come up with new uses for old things. So today I have for you four hacks that put to use citrus fruits. And we're not talking about the fruit itself, we're talking about the peels of the fruit, the juice, and even the bag that the fruits came in. 
So let's get started. So my first hack for you is for that brown sugar that you probably have in your pantry right now. We're all baking more, eating sweet things to get through this time. And sometimes what happens with brown sugar is it gets hard. And that happens because brown sugar has molasses in it and over time the molasses might start to dry out. But luckily there's a really easy thing that you can do to soften up your brown sugar and you're going to use a piece of citrus fruit for it. You're actually going to use the peel of the fruit. So I have a peel uh, from an orange right here and you're just going to put that right in the bag of brown sugar. Just pop it right in. And what this is going to do is the moisture from the citrus peel is just going to soften the sugar right up, uh, basically overnight. So I'm just going to put my little clip on here. And the great thing is, is it's not going to make your sugar taste citrusy. Uh, it's simply just going to add a little bit moisture back in so it's soft again. So my next hack is for the bag that the citrus fruits came in. They usually come in a mesh bag. Uh, like this one, your onions usually come in this, garlic even, and this can be a really great tool. You don't want to throw it away. And what I like to do with this is basically turn it into a scrubby that you can use around the house. Um, so what you're going to do is you can just kind of pull this kind of into, open it up so that you have kind of like a rectangular uh, piece and then what I like to do is just start to tie this so just you know give it a quick tie like this maybe another quick tie like this and you can already see kind of a little scrubby starting to form um, so now you have this little scrubby I have another one over here that I made from another mesh bag and I like to use these on um, maybe pans that are really garlicky or stinky and I don't want my sponge to stink. I like to use these to uh, clean the kitchen sink, even in the bathroom to kind of clean, you know, grimy places. Um, and what's really great is you're repurposing something, uh, giving it new life before you throw it away and getting your home a little bit cleaner. So the next hack that I have for you puts the peels of your lemons, limes, oranges to use kind of in this DIY home air freshener and what you're going to do is just add about two to four cups of water to your pot and you want to put in the peels you can put in a cinnamon stick you can see that I did that here even a little bit of vanilla and just simmer it for about 30 minutes if you want it to go longer you just want to add more water so my final hack for you is actually for your garbage disposal. And I wish that I could show you this one on camera, but I don't have a garbage disposal in my apartment. Unfortunately, I really wish that I did. But if you have one at home, here's a really easy way that you can clean it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take half of a lemon or lime, that works best. And maybe you, you know, already use some of the juice in a cocktail or in a salad dressing, but you don't want to toss that half just yet or compost it what you can do is you're just going to plop the whole half right into your garbage disposal and turn the disposal on and two things are going to happen first the juice from the fruit is really going to help deodorize uh, the disposal which can get a little bit icky the second thing that's going to happen is the skin from the citrus fruit is going to kind of agitate against the blades, agitate against the disposal, and hopefully pull off any gunk that's stuck on. So this is a really great one. Let me know if you try it. 